Maniacs looking to put another notch in the win column, and it all starts with tonight's matchup. You're listening to Maniac Basketball, a Central Idaho broadcasting sports presentation, and now to the court we go with our broadcast team. Good evening and welcome, everyone. I'm CJ Thompson, live from the gym at Dorfino High School as we get ready for the clash of a couple of Central Idaho League rivals. It is the Orfino Maniacs unbeaten on the season coming into the game, looking to keep it that way. And they have their arch rival, the Grangeville Bulldogs, standing in their way. It's been an excellent start to the season for the Orfino Maniacs. I'd like to welcome everyone everyone listening here on AM 13 uh, KLER as well as on our YouTube channel KLER 1300 AM. It uh, has been a crazy couple of days weather-wise. Extremely glad that we were able to get this ball game in. Uh, the Maniacs, as I said, have started off hot. Second year coach Rocky Barlow has led his team to a 4-0 and record on the other side. The Grangeville Bulldogs at the opposite end of the spectrum. They're struggling a little bit. They're 0-5, led by Coach Cooper Wright. They'll look to pick up their first victory tonight. But, uh, of course, uh, the Orfino Maniacs not going to make it easy. They have been playing some pretty darn good basketball here on the year. We have gotten to see a little bit of it. Uh, a couple of the wins against McCall, as well as in the 6th championship against to the uh, Timberline the Spartans and uh, this squad is absolutely no pushover as indicated uh, by their record as I said they come into the ball game as 4-0 and and they're looking to head to Christmas unbeaten. There is uh, 13 minutes and 25 seconds left until we get things underway here from Orfino High School. We'll take a quick break. We'll keep it right here. Riverside Physical Therapy schedules and scores after this. Yuletide greetings to your family from ours at the Best Western Lodge at River's Edge. We're excited to introduce the View Igloo Pod Rentals. For two hours, indulge in drinks and a charcuterie board from the warmth of our igloo pods overlooking the Clearwater River. Featuring luxurious decor and cozy seating, these heated weatherproof pods are the perfect way to spend an evening being spoiled by your own personal hostess. Happy holidays, everyone, from the Best Western Lodge at River's Edge. I like to think of myself as a confident backseat driver. Mom, brakes, please. Gotcha. But these days, I'm less confident in the economy. Same here, buddy. Thankfully, Les Schwab Tires helps make sure that our safety never takes a back seat, even when we're watching our wallets. Time to turn, Mom. Mm-hmm. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. This gift-giving season, find something for the whole family at spectacular prices at Best Built Builder Supply Orfino. Morning coffee is ready when you are with Mr. Coffee 12 Cup Switch Black Coffee Maker, now $39.99. A delicious breakfast is easy with the Black & Decker Belgian Waffle Maker, $37.99. All month long, you'll save on the perfect gift when you shop Best Built Builder Supply, Highway 12, West Orfino. Riverside Physical Therapy is proud to champion the senior class of OHS. These young people work so hard in our community and are excited about their upcoming graduation. As a fundraiser, you can purchase a raffle ticket to win a half a hog cut and wrap, just $5 a ticket or five for 20. Buy your ticket from any senior or stop in Riverside Physical Therapy. Drawing will be held February the 1st. Help us celebrate the senior class of OHS and stop in Riverside Physical Therapy for your ticket today. Welcome back once again. Time now for Riverside Physical Therapy schedules and scores. If you're questioning the extent of an ache, pain, or injury, call or stop by Riverside Physical Therapy for a complimentary injury screen today. In high school basketball action in the region, not a whole lot going on. We are it. The Orfino Maniac and Grangeville Bulldogs going at it here at Orfino High School. The only other high school sports in the region today is Pullman hosting a swim meet. Not much when it comes to scores either. Last night for the boys, the Potlatch Loggers dominated Garfield Blue 65-24. And for the girls, a similar result as a Potlatch beat Darpal 
45-14. With the weather, there was a whole slew of cancellations, including the Orfino Lady Maniacs against Deary, which is too bad as we were planning to bring you live coverage of that contest. I was looking forward to a little bit of Lady Maniac basketball. Sevia Timberline was also canceled. A Tushi and a Colton doubleheader, the Pullman at Ridgeline. Double dip, Genesee at Lapway Girls, as well as the Kamiak Girls at Nez Perce. All of those games have been either canceled or postponed. Pomeroy's a boys and girls a tennis teams, which were scheduled to play in the Moses Lake Christian Holiday Basketball Tournaments Tuesday and today, also did not compete. The Central Idaho League wrestling and duels, including or involving Grangeville, Potlatch, and Clearwater Valley, originally scheduled for three today, was also canceled because of inclement weather. In scores, though, uh, if you're a Zags fan, the Zags got the win over Montana, holding them off last night at the M McCarthy Athletic Center, 85 to 75, behind a huge performance from a Drew Timmy. The Orfino Maniac boys in their last action. It was a W over Deary here at Orfino High, 45 to 38. And then the Lady Maniacs squad got a victory against Clarkston. I believe their JV squad 47 to 29 on Thursday the 15th. The Idaho Vandal men's basketball team is in action tonight on the road against Long Beach State. But of course we have coverage of our Maniacs instead. The 6-6 six six Vandals will be on the air next as they travel to face the Montana Grizzlies. Thursday, December 29th, pregame will be at 5.30 tip-off at 6 with the voice of the Vandals, Chris King on AM 13 at KLER. And that is Schedules and Scores, brought to you by our good friends at Riverside Physical Therapy. Our coverage of the Maniacs and the Grangeville Bulldogs returns after this. Today you can protect yourself and your family from the new COVID variants with the recently released Pfizer and Moderna Bivalent Boosters. Available now from Clearwater Valley Health and St. Mary's Health, those individuals 12 and older can receive a COVID-19 bivalent booster to protect against the latest variants. In Orofino, call and schedule your appointment at 476-5777, 476-5777 to receive your COVID bivalent booster and protect your family. This gift-giving season, find something for the whole family at spectacular prices at Best Built Builder Supply Orfino. Morning coffee is ready when you are with Mr. Coffee 12 Cup Switch Black Coffee Maker, now $39.99. A delicious breakfast is easy with the Black & Decker Belgian Waffle Maker, $37.99. All month long, you'll save on the perfect gift when you shop Best Built Builder Supply, Highway 12, West Orfino. Pleasure driving is drunk driving. Hi, this is Clearwater County Sheriff Chris Getz. Every year, our deputies respond to driving under the influence crashes where the driver of the vehicle didn't feel they had too much to drink. But the fact is, every year, nearly 14,000 traffic deaths are attributed to alcohol. Please make sure that during this holiday season, you don't become another statistic. I was designated a driver. Call a friend to pick you up, or if you're going to drive, just don't drink. Help Clearwater County be a safe and happy place for all of us. From the Clearwater County Sheriff's Office, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Feliz Navidad from Fiesta and Jalisco Mexican Food Restaurant Orofino. Making plans for an office party? Call and reserve a table for your gathering or purchase a gift certificate. It's a great way to tell friends and co-workers happy holidays. A Fiesta platter is the perfect way to entertain those who stop by. Call and have one waiting for you to pick up. And Fiesta and Jalisco will be open Christmas Eve for lunch. From all your friends at Fiesta and Jalisco, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Welcome back once again to this presentation of Orfino Maniac Basketball brought to you on KLER Orfino as well as our YouTube channel at KLER 1300 AM in addition that we are so excited about. Uh, it was brought in back during the COVID era and it allows Maniacs uh, near and afar to tune in and support Orfino uh, Maniac Sports. Of course, we got uh, Maniacs that have uh, moved uh, to all areas of the country and uh, like to make it so that they can uh, tune in and uh, support the Orfino Maniac Athletics and uh, they got a lot of support this year especially from the Orfino uh, Maniac boys an exciting season coach Rocky Barlow has found success here in his second year 
and has put on a streak of a victories uh, to start off the season. They started off with a 65 at uh, 48 at dub over uh, Logos at Logos, and then they were back here against uh, McCall uh, Donnelly. They edged that one out in a fantastic game, a nail-biter that went all the way down to the wire, 50 to 48. Then another close ball game. Uh, they're becoming the cardiac kids in the 6C championship despite leading by, uh, I believe, 14 at one point in that ball game. The Timberline Spartans hung around, made it tough on the Maniacs. Uh, Orfino able to squeak that one out 46 to 44. And those two big wins in a row behind big performances from Loudon Cochran and Joel Scott, they're hoping for another one of those uh, tonight uh, as those two have stepped up and become clear leaders on uh, this squad. And of course, this is such an important ball game uh, to the psyche of uh, the Maniacs, the Grangeville Bulldogs, of course, uh, the biggest rival for the Maniacs. And they've been a thorn in the side of Orofino in every single sport, every single year. And Orfino thinks they have a good chance at picking up a W here tonight over the Bulldogs, who have a struggled on the year. They come into the ball game at 0 and 5. They have a losses to Kamii, a tough Prairie squad. McCall Donnelly, who of course Orfino did get that two-point victory against uh, to Moscow and Kamii, and they are still searching for their first win. So Orfino looking to remain unbeaten and Grangeville looking to get one in the W column. There is three minutes and 30 seconds left until we get things underway here from Orfino High School. It is a free shoot around for both sides. Orfino, of course, in their home lights and the Grangeville Bulldogs in their away of blue uniforms. We'll take another break. We'll be back with the rest of the pregame show and tip off after this. Vince Lombardi once said, the spirit, the will to win, and the will to excel are the things that endure. These qualities are so much more important than the events that occur. At Finky Logging, we're proud of the achievements of Orofino Maniac Basketball. As you battle teams in North Idaho and give it your best, remember no matter what the score at the end of the game, you are winners. We salute you. Finky Logging, proud to be a leader in forest stewardship, devoted to the responsible management of our community's forests. Merry Christmas, everyone. P1FCU's Ascend Checking is a simple free checking account that gives you the flexibility to earn dividends. Plus, get anytime account access with online and mobile banking, mobile deposit, and no minimum balance requirements. So level up your finances with an Ascend Checking account. Learn more at p1fcu.org slash Ascend. P1FCU, your community, your credit union. Insured by NCUA. Today you have numerous options when selecting your IRA and deciding which account is right for you is one of the most important decisions you will make for your financial future. Hi, this is Terry Bowling with Camus Financial Services. Give me a call to find out which IRA fits your financial needs or to update your current IRA saving strategy. You can reach me, Terry Bowling, at 476-7100 or stop by my office at 230 Johnson Avenue in Orfino to set up a free, no obligation appointment today. Securities offered through LPL Financial Member. FINRA SIPC. Hi, this is Terry Bowling with Camus Financial Services. I am available to help you select the right investment options when you are faced with early retirement, changing or losing a job, or any other lifestyle changes that warrant a review of your financial plan. You can reach me, Terry Bowling, at 476-7100 or stop by my office at 230 Johnson Avenue or Fino to set up a free, no obligation appointment today. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA SIPC. And welcome back once again, C.J. Thompson, live uh, from Orfino High School as we are on the brink of heading to uh, the Christmas weekend and, of course, the kids to Christmas break. And we get to celebrate that send-off with a battle between a couple of Central Idaho League rivals, the Orfino Maniacs at 4-0 and, oh, and the Greensville Bulldogs at 0-5. Oh the Maniacs led by second-year coach Rocky Barlow. Cooper Wright leads uh, the Bulldogs into battle. Both teams have headed to their respective benches for their final huddle before we get things underway. Of course, we will have the national anthem followed by a starting lineup. We 
That is the uh, final buzzer. Warning the teams that we are about ready to get things started as Athletic Director Kathleen Tetweiler gets on the mic to run over the code of contact prior to the national anthem. And we will send it away real quick for the anthem. We'll be back with starting lineups and tip-off after this. At Farmers, we make you smarter about insurance because what you don't know can hurt you. What if you didn't know that boxes by the curb make you a target for thieves? Or that dog bites account for a third of all home liability claims? What if you didn't know that one in seven drivers is uninsured? And the grease fires have to be smothered. The more you know, the better you can plan. Get smarter about your insurance. We are farmers. Bum, ba, bum, bum, bum. At 622 Brighton Avenue in Lewiston, see me, Greg Kimberling, your local farmer's insurance agent. When Santa flies over the Clearwater Valley, he has full confidence that should that old check engine light come on, he just points Rudolph in the direction of our area's top car care shop, Freeman Creek Transmission. No matter your car's problems, the fully qualified staff and mechanics can fix it right and get you flying straight once again. From Chuck and all his ASC certified elves, best wishes for a holiday season filled with memories to last a lifetime. Freeman Creek Transmission on Highway 12. This gift-giving season, find something for the whole family at spectacular prices at Best Built Builder Supply Orfino. Morning coffee is ready when you are with Mr. Coffee 12 Cup Switch Black Coffee Maker, now $39.99. A delicious breakfast is easy with the Black & Decker Belgian Waffle Maker, $37.99. All month long, you'll save on the perfect gift when you shop Best Built Builder Supply, Highway 12, West Orfino. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Hi, this is Clearwater County Sheriff Chris Getz. Every year, our deputies respond to driving under the influence crashes where the driver of the vehicle didn't feel they had too much to drink. But the fact is, every year, nearly 14,000 traffic deaths are attributed to alcohol. Please make sure that during this holiday season, you don't become another statistic. I was designated driver. Call a friend to pick you up, or if you're going to drive, just don't drink. Help Clearwater County be a safe and happy place for all of us. From the Clearwater County Sheriff's Office, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And welcome back once again as the huge flag retreats back to the ceiling following the national anthem. It is time for tonight's starting lineup. Tonight's battle between the undefeated Orfino Maniacs and the Grangeville Bulldogs looking to pick up their first W. The Maniacs again in their home whites. The Grangeville Bulldogs in their way blue uniforms. And the first starter, Jaden Legretta, a junior guard for the Bulldogs. Number three, you're number four, Jack Bransford. And uh, following him is a Jack of Bransford, a junior guard. No seniors on this uh, Grangeville Bulldog squad. Junior Carter Munt is the next announced. Number 10, Cody Clement. Followed by uh, Cody Clements, also a junior. And the rounding out the starting lineup is a sophomore, David Goikoa. And now, with the lights off, your Orfino Maniacs. Looking to stay undefeated at 4-0. And the first starter announced, Easton Schneider, a senior leader on this Maniac squad. Followed by a do-it-all shooter. Loudon Cochran, a junior at 5'11". And Quinton Naranjo, a freshman, making his way into the starting lineup, 5'9". Uh, and another do-it-all senior shooter, Nick Drobish, at 6'1". And 
the star forward for the Maniacs. The final starter is Joel Scott. As the lights turn it back on once again for the Maniacs, Easton Schneider, Nick Drobish, Joel Scott, Loudon Cochran, and Quentin Naranjo jumping for the Maniacs will be Joel Scott. He'll be jumping against Carter Munt for the Bulldogs. As our three officials get things sorted out with our scorekeeper as we get ready to get things underway. Once again, the Maniacs undefeated at 4-0. Led by Coach Rocky Barlow, tip is up. We are underway. Tip goes the way of the Maniacs. It is the freshman Quentin Naranjo who will track it down. Tries to get over to the left wing and a diving in to the passing lane as Cody Clement slaps out of the bounds in front of the Grangeville bench. Maniacs will have it on the sideline. Drobish will take it out, gets it into Naranjo, closely defended by Bransford over on the right side now with Cochran to the right elbow. Schneider back out wide open. Cochran sets his feet, got it. Right off the bat, Loudon Cochran gives Orfino a three to nothing lead. Wasting no time back the other way in the corner. It's Goey Koa. Picks up his dribble, hands it off to Legretta. Driving middle. Hands it off out top, driving. Is Clements and loses the handle, goes out of bounds underneath. Orfino will have it. The freshman, Quentin Arano, will bring it up a 1 3. 1 2 2 zone. Naranjo out top, now over on the left wing with Robish back to Naranjo. Tries to get to the right side. It is tipped and stolen away. Back the other way, it's Goey Koa. Top of the key, hits Legretta trailing. Deep three with a hand in his face. Knocks it down, knots it up. That's a three all. Now Naranjo, top of the key, will set up the offense. Left wing, Cochran pump fake drives. Runner from the left side is Long. Schneider there to clean up the miss. No, doesn't go. Drobish, another offensive board. He gets that one to go from short. And the Maniacs back in the lead, 5-2. to two. Back the other way, Goey Koa wide open for a three in the corner. Rattles in and out, no good. Scott with the board. Handed off to Easton Schneider. Maniacs will walk it up. Naranjo on the right wing to Cochran. Now in the corner with Joel Scott. One dribble left, pulls the contested mid-range jumper. Goes for Joel Scott. And it's 7-3. to three. Back the other way, Goey Koa in the corner, wasting no time. Now up top with Legretta. Working against Robish, drives right, tries to kick it corner and not on the same page with uh, Bransford, goes out of bounds, but looks like Naranjo got a hand on it. It'll be Legretta taking it out near Orfino's bench on the sideline, defended by Drobish. Gets it into Munts, now it's slapped right back out of bounds by Scott, got a hand in there. Legretta will take it out once again, now Munt in the corner. Defended closely by Scott. Tries to hit a cutting. Legretta able to get it through. It was tipped, but he's able to corral it in and finish at the rim. Legretta's got all five of Grangeville's points. Seven to five. Now Drobish on the left wing. Has it stripped away. Grangeville with numbers. Munt ahead. Brunsford in transition. Able to finish. Knots it up at seven all. Drobish back the other way, gets it to Cochran on the right wing. Now top of the key to Schneider, dumps it down to Joel Scott, who's diving from the short corner. He is able to draw the foul. He's headed to the free throw line, shooting two. Interesting zone look from the Bulldogs. Scott's first free throw rattles off, no good. Maniac basketball brought to you by the Pizza Factory, best built builder supplying Kibberling Insurance. That foul goes against Cody Clement, his first first team foul. Second free throw on the way, it's short as well. Rebound is tipped out, Scott able to track it down. Drives, kicks, Strobish driving baseline. Tried to get it across, it is stolen away by Cody Clement. Clement bringing it up himself. Dribble hand off to Legretta. Comes off the screen, thinks about a deep three, instead hangs on, gets it over to Clements. Back over Goey Koa. 
Defended by Cochran. On the left wing, brings it around top. Dribble handoff, moving left to Bransford. Now in the corner with Legretta. His pass out top is tipped away out of bounds. It'll stay with the Bulldogs. They'll have it near midcourt. Legretta will take it out. And his pass in the corner to Goey Koa is tipped out of bounds by Cochran. Legretta will now take it out near the corner. Gets it into Goey Koa, now up top with Munt. Driving against Scott. Scott hits the deck, able to take the charge. Munt called for the charge. His first foul, second team on the Bulldogs. Down under five minutes to go. Knotted up at seven all in the Ronho. Working against a 1-3-1 zone look. Cochran now in the corner. Drobish sets his feet, pulls the trigger. Off the side rim, no good. Munt with the board stolen from behind. Schneider takes it up to the rack. Lefty laying is good. Nifty little pick there from Schneider. And the Maniacs back in the lead by two. Bransford will bring it up. Man-to-man -man defense from Orofino. Gets it to Legretta. Working against Strobish, driving right kicks, corner. Munt for three, rattles off, no good. Now Schneider with the board, pushing in transition. One on three, gonna take it anyway. Fade away from the block, off the back rim, no good. Munt with the board, long pass ahead to Bransford. Can't hang on, but is able to track it down in the corner. He's trapped by Nerano and Drobish. And Cooper Wright will take a timeout. Save the possession for his team as they trail by 2, 9 to 7, 3.52 to go in the first. We'll take a 30-second break as well. We're back after this. At Farmers, we make you smarter about insurance because what you don't know can hurt you. What if you didn't know that boxes by the curb make you a target for thieves? Or that dog bites account for a third of all home liability claims? What if you didn't know that one in seven drivers is uninsured? And the grease fires have to be smothered. The more you know, the better you can plan. Get smarter about your insurance. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. At 622 Brighton Avenue in Lewiston, see me, Greg Kimberling, your local farmer's insurance agent. Fairwater Valley Health and Clinics, along with Pinky Logging and Fords Creek Pump, are backers of Maniac Basketball on AM 13 KLER Radio, your central Idaho sports leader. Following the timeout, Maniacs lead by 2, 9 to 7, 3.52 to go here in the first. Grangeville with the ball, Legretta. We'll take it out in the corner as they stack it up on the right side of the key, able to get it in to Munt at the volleyball line. Hands it off to Legretta. Picks up his dribble out top, able to get it. Bransford elbow jumper on the way, a little bit short. Drobish with the board. He'll bring it up himself. Driving left, working against Clement on the wing. Picks up his dribble, tries to get it away, stolen. And Clements up the sideline, runs into a trap. Three-person trap, able to get it away to Munts. Now underneath Bransford, hands it off. Up top, wide open, Legretta. Three on the way, off the back rim, no good. Munts with the board, it's tied up. And a jump ball called. As Schneider was able to tie that up. Arrow is the way of the Bulldogs. Up with two on the blocks, one in each corner. Legretta gets it in to Clements on the right wing. Now in the corner with Munt, defended by Schneider. Munt hits a cutting Bransford in the middle, and a foul called on the ground. First charge foul against the Maniacs. It'll go against Nick Drobish. Legretta gets it in corner. Goey Koa pump fake, hands it off up top. Bransford contested three, glances off the front rim. Clements keeps it alive. Now out top, zips it to the corner with Goey Koa. Now trailing in the corner, Munta contested three. That rattles in and out, no good. Cochran with the board, he'll slow it up for Orfino. Tries to get it to the corner, dangerous pass, tipped into the hands of Naranjo, short corner jumper from Scott, a little bit long, Munt with the board. He'll bring it up for the Bulldogs, gets it across to Legretta. Legretta top of the key over Clement on the right wing, touch pass in the corner, back out top. Clement wide open for three, nothing but net good for Cody Clement and Grangeville. Oh, they call it a two. 
Knots it up at nine apiece. Strobish nearly has it stolen out top as he's looking for instruction. Driving middle, Naranjo kicks it out. Cochran corner tray on the way. Rattles off no good. Schneider with the offensive board, keeps it alive, pulls it out. Mid-range jumper, finds the bottom of the net. And Easton Schneider has four in the ball game. Long pass ahead in the corner. Goey Koa, pump fake. Look to drive. Instead kicks it out. Bransford, Munt top of the key. Swings it to the corner with Clement. Four out, one in now for Grangeville against a 2-3 zone for Orfino. Bransford inside. Munt, one dribble. Two-foot stop. Takes it up. No good. And Easton Schneider. Bring it back the other way for the Maniac. Hand, Maniacs hands it off to Naranjo. Now on the wing, Cochran has it slapped away. Naranjo has done the majority of the ball handling. Where Cochran normally has those duties. Now on the baseline, Scott pump fake drives, able to draw the foul at the rim. Scott, his second trip to the free throw line here in the early going. Third foul against Grangeville, goes against Legretta. Scott's first free throw off the front rim, no good, 0 for 3 from the charity stripe. Les Schwab Tire Center, Orfino Police Department, and Barlow Quality Trust are backers of Maniac Athletics as Drew Hanna checks in for the first time. Nick Drobish will sit down. Along with him is Landon Hudson. Scott's second free throw, knocks it down. 12 to nine, Orfino. Back the other way, Clement into the corner, Legretta, then cuts through. Legretta on the wing, defended closely by Hudson, dribble handoff, Bransford picks up his dribble on the wing, tries to get it away, Hudson tips and steals it away, gets it ahead to Cochran, three on one in transition. Cochran, it's Scott who takes it up, takes contact, got the bucket, no foul call. 14 to nine, under a minute to go here in the first. Legretta, deep three on the way. Off the side rim, no good. Scott with the board. Schneider the other way for Orfino. Again, the zone look from Grangeville. Cochran on the wing up top with Schneider. Swings it over Hudson. On the wing, pass to the corner, stolen away. Munts comes away with it. Able to get it across to Legretta, under 30 to go. Now Clement for three from the left wing. A little bit short, Scott. Runs under the board, gets it across half. Now to the corner, Cochran sets his feet for the three. It's off the mark, no good. Hudson with the board, gets it out to Schneider. He'll pull it out, they'll hold for the last shot of the quarter. Pass to the wing, tipped right back to Schneider. Threads the needle between defenders inside, but Hannah couldn't hang on, down to three seconds left. Long pass ahead, Bransford oops it up. At the rim, hard off the backboard, no good at the end of the first quarter. It is the Orfino Maniacs 14, Grangeville Bulldogs 9. We'll take a quick break, second quarter action when we return after this. Your gift-giving decisions are made that much easier when you shop the new Garden Gate, Orofino's newest hub for home decor, garden decor, rustic craft classes, and more. Open Tuesday through Saturdays, the Garden Gate at 153 Johnson Avenue features gifts for Christmas, beautiful mirror ladies' handbags, a variety of milk house candles, galvanized flowers for the garden, indoor water features, and maniac swag. Stop in and ask about the upcoming IOD classes. The Garden Gate, where we say Merry Christmas. We toss them. They're awesome. Pizza Factory. It's back, fresher and hotter. The Pizza Factory reintroduces the all-you-can-eat buffet. Lunchtime in Orofino means all-you-can-eat pizza, breadsticks, sauce, and a delicious salad bar. Packed with fresh greens, fruits, proteins, and dressings. The Pizza Factory All-You-Can-Eat Buffet is Monday through Friday, 11 to 2. Make the all-you-can-eat buffet your next lunchtime stop. We toss them. They're awesome. Pizza Factory. Family Eye Care Atkinson distributing in Watson's Grocery Orofino are proud of the Maniacs during the 2022-23 season as Orofino starts the second with the ball. Cochran, top of the key. Hands it off to Hudson, moving right. Gets it over to Schneider on the wing. Drives across the block to Cochran. Touch pass to Hannah, who couldn't hang on. Goes out of bounds underneath, but it will be out off Grangeville. Orfino up by 5, 14, 9. Scott takes it out, tries to get inside to Hannah, but he wasn't, didn't see it coming. Bransford gets it ahead in transition. Clement absorbs some contact and finishes at the rim. 
And Cody Clement cuts the lead to three, 14-11. Now Schneider back the other way, top of the key, picks up his dribble over to Cochran, driving right, pulls up, contested mid-range jumper. Long off the back rim, no good. Able to tip it into the hands of Scott, who has it stripped. Goey Koa, long pass ahead in transition to Bransford in the corner. It's a trailing Goey Koa, pulls for three. It is short, saved inbounds to Schneider, ahead to Cochran in transition. Up at the rim against Goey Koa, does not finish. And a foul called on the rebound as it goes into the hands of Goey Koa. <laughs> Foul goes against Hudson of Orfina. His first, second team. Legretta back in the ball game. Goey Koa sits down. In the game, uh, Kaysen Sickles started the second quarter for Grangeville. Now into the corner with Clements on the wing, Sickles. Defended by Hudson. Gets it inside, has it nearly stripped away. It's tied up. And a foul call that might be the second in a row on Hudson, and it is. Hudson's second foul, two on the elbows, two on the blocks in the corner. Clements up top, Bransford swings it over to Sickles. Now in the corner, Legretta with a hand in his face. Off the top of the backboard, no good. Clements with the board, takes it up strong amongst the trees, blocked out of bounds. And it'll be Grangeville ball underneath. Drobish checks into the ball game. Drew Hanna will sit down. 2-3 zone for Orfino as it is in to Clements. Pulls the contested three, no good. Legretta there for the board. He'll be fouled on the follow. And Legretta will head to the free throw line shooting two. Foul is against Joel Scott. His first, fourth team on Orfino. Legretta's first free throw, nothing but net good. He's got six in the ball game. Terry Bowling of Campus Financial Services, P1FCU, and Fiesta and Lisco. Happy to back the efforts of OHS all year round. Legretta's second free throw, same result, nothing but net good. Two for two from the charity stripe there as he cuts the lead to 1 14 13. Bransford will sit down. Back in the 1-3-1 look for Grangeville as Cochran brings it up. Gets it over to Drobish on the wing. Back up Cochran. Swings it over Hudson. Hudson trying to get it to the corner. Tipped and stolen by Clement. Clement long pass ahead to Sickles in transition. Takes it up. Rattles in and out. Was all the way down. Then came back out. Cochran back the other way. Top of the key. Gets it out to Hudson. Back to Cochran at the volleyball line. Now in the right wing with Drobish. Step into the corner is Schneider. Schneider driving baseline, has a step. Able to finish at the bucket as Easton Schneider has the first points of the second quarter for Orfino, 16-13. Legretta back the other way in the corner. Now Clement defended closely by Schneider. Driving baseline, runs into Scott. He's trapped, and Schneider able to steal it away. Pushing it up the floor. They don't have numbers. He's going to take it anyway. Look to gather and lost the handle. And Legretta comes away from the fray with it. Gets it across, has the top of the key, nobody on him. Pulls for three, off the back rim, no good. Munt with the board, takes it back up, able to follow as Carter Munt. Cuts it back to a one-point game, 16-15. 5.20 to go in the first half. Cochran will walk it up. Coach Barlow wants to talk things over with his crew. He'll take a 30-second timeout with his team up. 1-5.20 to go in the first. Maniac basketball continues in 30 seconds on KLER Orfino. Santa's on his way, and when he finishes delivering all those packages, his first stop to relax that aching back is the Helgeson Hotel. The Helgeson Hotel has served weary travelers like Santa for nearly 100 years. On the corner of Johnson and Michigan Avenues, the Helgeson Hotel has long stood as a hotel of excellence. Delight in spacious rooms with full kitchens, hot continental breakfast, and Wi-Fi. Merry Christmas, everyone. We hope to see you this holiday season from the Helgeson Hotel Orfino. It can happen anytime. Those tiny white flakes begin to fall from the sky only to pile up on your driveway and sidewalks. Is your back ready for the day-to-day -day shoveling? Orofino Physical Therapy and Wellness has a few tips to keep your back healthy. 
Rely on your legs and keep your back straight. Don't twist and toss. And hug the shovel, keeping it close to your body. These techniques can help to keep you safe this winter. If you do experience low back pain, call and schedule an appointment today. Orofino Physical Therapy, here for you. Back from the timeout, Orofino with the ball in the run. He'll hand it off to Drobish, now in the corner with Cochran. Tries to get inside to Scott, can't handle the entry pass, and he goes out of bounds underneath. It'll stay with Orfino. Clements and Bransford back in, sitting down. Ray Holes Jr. along with Sickles. As Drobish tries to get it into Scott, who's a little long, able to track it down though. Hands it off to Schneider, zips it to Naranjo in the corner with Drobish. Back to Naranjo. He'll set up the offense against that 1 3 1 zone pass out to Drobish. Drobish top left. Now Naranjo on the top right. Back to Drobish, top of the key. Three out two and a high low look for Orofino. Gets it into the block with Scott. Back out Naranjo in the corner. Naranjo driving middle. Hand off Drobish open for three. Rattles off no good. Rebound tipped right to Schneider. Easy take to the bucket. And back to a three point game, 18 15. Schneider with eight. Now here in the second quarter. Pass ahead to Legretta pump fake. Drives, has it in the middle, tipped away. Goes down on the ground after it. Munt now comes away with it. Contested jumper from the middle of the key, no good. And Schneider comes away with it. Gets the outlets to Naranjo. Sets things up over on the right wing. Now with Drobish in the corner. Scott, Scott looking to drive base lights, dead kick out, Drobish for three, and he will draw the foul against Bransford, breaking the Cardinal rule, never foul a jump shooter. That'll mean three free throws for Drobish. His first nestles in good, puts it to 19-15. Orfino Physical Therapy, Empire Lumber Company, and Renata's Cakery are Maniac Backers on AM13 KLER Radio. Second free throw from Drobish off the back rim, no good. One for two so far from the charity strike. Maniac Basketball brought to you by the Pizza Factory, Best Built Builder Supply, and Kimberling Insurance. Foul the first on Bransford. Fourth team foul, each team now with four. Free throw off the back rim, no good. Rebound, slapped out of bounds. Off for Fino. Couple opportunities missed there at the line for Drobish. Back the other way, Bransford tries to get to the corner. Stepping in front is Schneider. He'll bring it up the sideline, pushing it in the break. Loses the handle, will slow it up. He has it now short corner. Gets it up top with Cochran. He'll pull for three off the front rim, no good. Legretta with the board, pushing in transition. Kicks it corner, Clement, pump fake, kick out Goikoa. Defended closely by Cochran. Cochran and Naranjo out front in the 2-3 zone. Second level, Drobish, Scott, and Schneider. Bransford zips it to the corner. Legretta brings it to the wing. Now back to Clement in the corner. Clement looking to drive baseline, stepped on the line, and that turns it over to Orfino. Orfino up 4, 19-15, 3-18 to go in the first half. On the floor for the Maniacs, Drobish, and Naranjo, Schneider, Cochran, and Scott haven't varied a whole lot from their starting five. Naranjo zips it inside, nice pass to Scott, who takes it up, had it tied up, and a jump ball called. Scott, of course, doesn't like the call. He wants a, wants a foul, but did look like that was all ball. Arrow is to the Bulldogs. Bransford will bring it up. It's a trailing Legretta. Still the 2 3 zone. High post kick corner. Munt for three. Off the back rim, no good. Cochran skies up for the board for Orfino. Cochran rocking the pink kicks. He'll take it all the way to the hole himself. Splitting two defenders. Adjustment in the air, no good at the rim. Rebound tipped around. Naranjo keeps it alive. He's got a top of the key. Now Schneider. Schneider ducking in. Finger roll lay in, off the glass is good. And Easton Schneider with six in the corner, 21-15. Back the other way, Clement at the volleyball line. Skips it over to Legretta. Legretta into the corner now with Goicoa. Clement's now in the corner. The wing with Goicoa back up top. 
Extra pass to Legretta pump fake. Sidestep has an open three. Rattles off no good. Scott with the board will bring it up himself. Hands it off to Naranjo to set up the offense. Bransford out top in the zone. As Cochran pulls up top of the key. That second level is Goikoa. Legretta and Clement as it's tipped away. Bransford has a step in transition. Takes it up at the rack. Able to drop it in good. And Jack Bransford now with four in the ball game as he cuts the lead to four. 21 to 17. Cochran on the wing. Tries to get a corner. Bad pass stolen away by Goikoa. Carter Munts will now bring it up. Gets it ahead in the corner. Legretta. Now open on the wing is Clements for three. Off the back rim, no good. Cochran with the board, brings it up the sideline. Munt on his hip, crosses to his left. Free throw line, pump fake and drive. Little one-hander for Joel Scott. Able to get it to drop. 23 to 17, down to a minute 10 to go in the first half. Clements, high post, Munt. Defender flies by, kicks corner. Legretta driving middle. Now up top, Clements. Blows by Naranjo, but poked out from behind. As Schneider gets it ahead, Naranjo goes up against Branford, and no good at the rack, but Drobish there for the offensive board, and follow. Short jumper is good for Nick Drobish. He now has five in the ball game. Down to 45 ticks in the first half, as Branford nearly has it stolen away, batted back to him. Gets it to the corner with Munt. Picks up his dribble. Nice pass inside, but Clements can't finish. Drobish back the other way, has it on the right wing. Inside to Scott. Scott tries to kick it out, nearly stolen away. It is tipped and stolen. Munt pushing in transition against Naranjo on the left side. Jump stop, takes it up, can't finish. Gets his own board, second doesn't go either. And Schneider will bring it up for Orfino, hands it off to Naranjo, 10 seconds left. They'll hold for the last shot of the first half. Down to seven. Cochran in the corner, four. Inside Schneider, short corner. Scott can't get it up, and Orfino not able to get a shot off before the end of the first half. But they do take a 25 to 17 lead into the locker room. Coach Barlow's got to be happy with that. Although there's some sloppy play that does need to be cleaned up, they'll be talking about that. Uh, in the locker room, a four sure, some bad passes. It's got to be more sure with the ball. But 25 to 17, an eight point advantage for the Maniacs at the end of the first half. We'll take a quick break. We're back with the halftime show after this. It's amazing that we wear something different every day to work and try our best to change up our look. New shoes, a shirt, or even a haircut can really make a difference. But when was the last time you changed out those glasses? If it's been more than a couple years since you visited your optometrist, now's the time. Dr. Rick Lindgren and staff at Family Eye Care are here to take care of your family's eyes. If your vision changes, even slightly, those old glasses you're wearing may not be doing you any favors. It only takes a few minutes to have your eyes professionally examined, you just may be surprised at how much you've been missing. Find new brand name frames for less than you might think. Accentuate your personal style with statement making glasses for a look that's bold, original, and unforgettable. Let Family Eye Care help take care of your eyes. Call and make an appointment today at 476-4814. Family Eye Care, Michigan Avenue, Orofino, and Highway 12 West in Kamii. Come on in and see the difference. The forensic analyst searched for clues to what could have caused the house fire. Could that be... Traces of starch? Suddenly the pieces came together. The fire was started by... An over-microwaved potato? And we covered it. Talk to farmers. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. At 622 Brighton Avenue in Lewiston, see me, Greg Kimberling, your local farmer's insurance agent. No matter what your age, you're never too old to believe in the magic of Christmas. With this joyous season upon us, all the staff at Les Schwab Tire Orofino wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. As we enjoy this special time of year, everyone at Les Schwab Tire would like to remind you to always drive carefully during the winter season. We count ourselves lucky to have you as customers and friends. From the Les Schwab family to yours, Merry Christmas and a Happy 2023. 
And welcome back once again. It is halftime here at the gym at the Orfino High School on the battle between the Central Idaho League rivals as the Orfino Maniac Boys basketball team hosts the Grangeville Bulldogs. And to this point, it has been the Maniacs in control. 25 to 17, an eight point lead at the half. Let's take a look at our individual statistics. First for the team in the front, the Maniacs. 25 at total points. Easton Schneider already in double figures with 10. Nick Grovish has chipped in a five. Joel Scott with a seven. And Loudon Cochran with the first bucket of the ball game as he had a three ball and has been quiet ever since for 25 total points. On the other side for the Greenfield Bulldogs, 17 at the half. Jaden Legretta with a seven. Jack Bransford has a 4-2 from Carter Bunt and uh, Cody Clements with the uh, final four. Orofino not, uh, Orofino having a pretty easy time uh, as far as uh, scoring the ball, but they have made uh, some pretty questionable passes against the 1-3-1 uh, zone. I don't believe they uh, have quite figured out how to attack that yet. They've done most of their damage in a transition to this point. Uh, they have made some pretty errant passes uh, on the wing, and Grangeville has taken advantage of it, uh, stepping into the uh, passing lane. A lot of, of course, against his own pump fake, pump fake, pump fake. You can never have enough pump fakes against his own as it'll move the entire defense as what you want to do is uh, get them off balance and attack the other way. Normally, of course, against a 2-3 zone, you want to collapse to the middle, but you got a lot of more room to work with now on the wings and the corners against the 1-3-1 uh, zone look that Grangeville has been bringing to the table at the moment. Wouldn't be surprised, though, if uh, Coach Wright switched it up here at the half, as I'm sure Coach Barlow drawing things up for that 1-3-1 one, one zone. If I was right, I would uh, switch it up, try and keep them off balance as much as possible. On the other side, the Maniacs uh, sticking with that 2-3 zone. For the majority of the ball game, they have seen a little bit of man to this point. Five minutes and 15 seconds left until the start of the second half here from Orfino High School. We'll take a quick break. We're back with the rest of the halftime show and the start of the third quarter after this. P1FCU's Ascend Checking is a simple free checking account that gives you the flexibility to earn dividends. Plus, get anytime account access with online and mobile banking, mobile deposit, and no minimum balance requirements. So level up your finances with an Ascend checking account. Learn more at p1fcu.org slash Ascend. P1FCU, your community, your credit union. Insured by NCUA. The recently held Orofino Flower Open House was a huge success. Kathy and the girls wish to thank everyone who came by to look at our Boho Ho Christmas display. Come by and look at the many beautiful Christmas wreaths, fresh and artificial. Brightly colored centerpieces perfect for your Christmas table and wall hangings that will spruce up any home or office. Candy bouquets for gift giving. And don't forget Orofino Flower delivers. Thank you and Merry Christmas all from Orofino Flower. Remember those days when you used to tromp around in the woods searching for the perfect Christmas tree? All the kids in tow saying, no bigger, bigger. Well, at McLaughlin Logging, we know those times ever so well. Every day, our hardworking guys are in the woods making a living, providing valuable resources to our economy through timber products and a living for families everywhere. So the next time you're in the woods and you see our tracks, remember, we're all about Christmas. Merry Christmas, friends, from McLaughlin Logging. Make this a real bang-bang Christmas with new firearms and ammo from your gun dealer in Orofino, Olive's Auto Parts. Come in today and see the largest selection of hunting rifles, automatic rifles, pistols, and handguns. Just about every imaginable ammo for all your firearms is also on the shelves when you shop today. Weekly gun specials, perfect for the beginning or advanced shooter when you visit Dwayne and all the staff at Olive's Auto Parts, Orofino. Happy Holidays! 
Welcome back once again. It is halftime here from Morfino High School. Grangeville has emerged from the locker room. Morfino is still in uh, talking with Coach Rocky Barlow as he prepares them uh, for the second half. Grangeville getting some uh, shots up, trying to get to warmed up, get ready to go for the start of the third quarter as they do have a little bit of a hill to climb. They trail to the Maniacs at 25 to 17. As we've talked about, Greenville is on a little bit of a down a year. They are 0-5 at the moment looking to pick up their first W of the year. And Orfino is looking to remain a perfect. Kind of a switch up from years past as uh, although Coach Barlow did see some uh, immediate success last year. Uh, Orfino had struggled in years of previous uh, when it came to the win-loss column, but uh, this year Coach Barlow looking to make a statement as they have come out at 4-0, and and they've been winning close games as well. Uh, that's two-game stretch against uh, between McCall, Donnelly, and the Timberline, those two games, uh, they won by a combined four points each game, going all the way down to the wire, that uh, final shot uh, coming in to play. As Orfino now emerges from the locker room, neither team is suiting up uh, a large squad. I believe uh, Grangeville has nine suited up, and Orfino. Uh, has S10, although we have not seen Aiden Olive yet in the ball game. Aiden swinging, played a couple of quarters. JV, I believe he had 18 in those two quarters, so I'm sure that he is chomping at the bit to get his chance here in uh, the uh, varsity game as we had under a minute to go here in uh, the halftime uh, period. Grangeville getting a few uh, last shots up uh, before they head to their over the bench for the final huddle prior to the start of the third quarter. And of course, Christmas break coming up here next week. So this is the final game before both of these teams get a little bit of a break for the holidays. And uh, both teams would love to head into the Christmas break with a W. I'm sure it would uh, lighten up the conditioning load in the practices significantly, as I remember from my playing days. And that is the buzzer to mark the start of the third quarter. Drobish will take it out as Maniac starts with the ball, gets it into Cochran, top of the key. Now over to Naranjo. Naranjo driving right hands it off Schneider, driving a baseline, and the pass across is tipped out. It'll be off Orofino. Grangeville, their first possession of the third quarter. Long pass ahead to the corner with Goicoa. 2-3 zone for Orofino. It's Cochran and Naranjo out top. Second level, Drobish, Scott, and Schneider. Legretta to the high post. Munt turns, faces, kicks, corner. Three for Clements. Nothing but net good as Cody Clements cuts it to a five-point game, 25 to 20. Naranjo back the other way, gets it on the left wing to Drobish. Now a 2-3 zone look. I thought they might switch it up, and it's stolen away with the pass ahead, stolen back by Schneider as he gets it to Cochran. Now with Drobish, who will pull it out to the wing. Gets it out to Naranjo, top of the key. In the corner with Drobish, back out to Naranjo. They're extending that zone. Nice pass post to post, high low, Schneider. Easy finish underneath. Schneider now with 12 in the ball game as Sorfino goes up 7, 27 to 20. Pass to the corner with Goikoa. Munt now outside the block. Skips it across. Clements can't hang on. Goes out of bounds. And that'll turn it back over to Orfino. Drobish gets it in to Nerano. Nerano 
Taking signs from Coach and a bad post entry angle stolen away. Months ahead in transition. Goe Koa and ooh, got away with the travel there. He passed it to himself. Looked as though he wanted to dump it off. Couldn't decide between dumping it off and taking it up at the bucket. Kind of just tossed it to himself. It goes out of bounds off Orofino. And Legretta will take it out as they stack it up and split in the corner. Bransfer defended by Schneider. The 2-3 zone still from Orofino on the wing. Clement back to the corner with Bransford. Pass out top with Clements. Inside with Muntz. Muntz. Kicks it corner, Legretta step back three. Nothing but net good for Legretta. He's got a second three ball of the ball game. Got to do a four point game, 27-23. Cochran on the left wing for Orofino. Looking to trap on the wings, it looks like. Out of that two three zone, Schneider top of the key over to Drobish on the right wing. Into the corner with Naranjo now. Drobish top of the key over to Cochran. In the corner, Drobish pulls for three, blocked away, but Munt then got him with the body. It was all ball, but then Munt couldn't stop his momentum and knocks Drobish down, and Drobish <laughs> heading to the free throw line. He thought it was on the shot, but it was on the ground after the shot. Drobish will take it out in the corner for Afino. Gets it up top with Naranjo, now to Cochran. Top left, high post, Schneider. Two dribbles to the right, nice dump down post to post to Scott, got his defender in the air, then took advantage of it as he drew the foul. And he'll head to the free throw line, shooting two. Foul goes against Cody Clements, his second, second team foul. Scott's free throw off the mark, struggling from the charity stripe so far. Flash Schwab Tire Center, Orfino Police Department, and Barlow Quality Trust serving backers of Maniac Athletics. Scott's second free throw on the way, rattles around, then drops in good. He's now two for six from the charity stripe as Bransford catches on the wing, gets it to the high post, Munt turns, faces, attacking, has its Stripped away. Cochran comes away with it. He'll bring it up for Orofino, driving middle, and it's stripped out of bounds. It'll stay with Orofino as Hannah checks into the ball game. Aranjo sits down. One each, one each wing, one each elbow. Four high as Drobish gets it into the corner with Schneider. Schneider brings it out to the wing against the 2-3 zone. Now drives baseline. Gets it inside to Scott. Scott across the key to Hannah blocked away right into the hands of Drobish. Drobish gets it out to Cochran on the wing. Gets it over to Schneider at the volleyball line. Schneider working against Bransford. Drives by, splits defenders, dumps it to a diving Drobish, but a foul call on the pass. Foul goes against Goikoa. His first, third team foul. Drobish in the corner now to Schneider. Out to Cochran. High post. Hannah turns, faces, tries to get it to Drobish, but getting in the passing lane is Clements. Pass ahead to Bransford all alone in transition. And Bransford with the easy finish at the bucket. He's now got six, a bucket in each quarter so far. It's a three-point game. 2-3 zone, Bransford and Clement out top. And Coach Barlow will take a timeout, talk things over with his crew as they lead its 28 25 4 17 to go in the third. It is a full timeout. Maniac basketball in a minute on Kaylee Orofino. Today you have numerous options when selecting your IRA, and deciding which account is right for you is one of the most important decisions you will make for your financial future. Hi, this is Terry Bowling with Camus Financial Services. Give me a call to find out which IRA fits your financial needs or to update your current IRA saving strategy. You can reach me, Terry Bowling, at 476-7100 or stop by my office at 230 Johnson Avenue in Orfino to set up a free, no-obligation appointment today. Securities offered through LPL Financial Member. 
member FINRA SIPC. Hi, this is Terry Bowling with Camus Financial Services. I am available to help you select the right investment options when you are faced with early retirement, changing or losing a job, or any other lifestyle changes that warrant a review of your financial plan. You can reach me, Terry Bowling, at 476-7100 or stop by my office at 230 Johnson Avenue or Fino to set up a free, no-obligation appointment today. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA SIPC. Welcome back from the timeout. Sorfino leads at 28-25, 4.17 to go in the third. Maniacs with the ball. Drobish taking it out, able to get it into Scott on the wing. Scott back to Drobish. Looking for a hole in the zone. As it's stripped away, tracks it down. Cochran deep on the wing. Now to the high post with Scott. Scott turns, faces, pump fake up and over. Short jumper, banks it off the glass. Joel Scott trying to get himself going here in the third quarter. Leads back at five, pass head to Goey Koa. Has to tightrope the sideline as he lost the handle. Bransford has it stripped, it goes out. And it's off Orfino. Legretta will take it out. On the sideline, pass into Clements. Now Goikoa open for three, pulls the trigger, rattles off no good. Munt brings down the board. They'll take it back up and draw the foul. And Carter Munt will shoot two. Foul goes against Drobish, his second. First team foul of the half against the Maniacs. Bunt's free throw, nothing but net good. Terry Bowling of Camus Financial Services, UNSU and Fiesta in Jalisco. Happy to back the efforts of OHS all year round as Landon Hudson checks in. Drobish will take a breather. Now a four-point ball game. And Aiden Olive checks into the ball game for the first time. As Drew Hanna will sit down. Oliva, bright career ahead of him. The youngster, second free throw goes for months, two for two on the charity strike. 30 to 27, Orfino Cochran pulls up at the free throw line, pass inside, it's stolen, stolen right back by Cochran, dumps it down to Scott, who leans in to Muntz, who hits the deck, and that'll be a charge against Scott. Scott took one similar to that earlier in the ball game, got a little Taste of his own medicine there. As he gives a little smile. Bransford into the corner now with Clement back out. Bransford. 2-3 zone still for Morfino with Cochran and Hudson out top. In the corner it's Muntz defended by Schneider. Driving baseline runs right into Olive. Stolen away Schneider with Munt on his back. We'll get it out to Cochran. At the volleyball line, defended closely by Branson. Able to get it away to Hudson. The pass out top nearly stolen by Clements, diving into the passing lane. Orfino not taking advantage of the spacing opportunities against the 2-3 zone with neither of the guards committing. And timeout taken, 2.45 to go in the third, 30 to 27, Orfino, and it'll be a full timeout. Maniac basketball continues in a minute on KLER Orfino. All December long, you'll save on that just right gift when you visit your best built builder supply in Orfino. Hi, this is Ian Steinrich with great news of the perfect gift for that special someone in your home. The Gerber Kettlebell 2.5 inch folding knife is low priced at $33.99. Lighten up any situation with the Nebo Popway rubberized plastic LED lantern. Half price this month at $21.99. From all our staff at Best Built Builders, to you and your family, happy holidays. I like to think of myself as a confident backseat driver. Mom, brakes please. Gotcha. But these days, I'm less confident in the economy. Same here, buddy. Thankfully, Les Schwab Tires helps make sure that our safety never takes a backseat. Even when we're watching our wallets. Time to turn, Mom. Mm-hmm. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab Tires. Doing the right thing since 1952. Be sure to listen in at the conclusion of the broadcast for the Pizza Factory Player of the Game announcement. 
Brought to you, of course, by our good friends at the Orfino Pizza Factory. Orfino with the ball. Cochran driving middle. Crosses back to his right. Kicks it corner. Now Hudson to the free throw line. Diving. Able to go post to post as Aiden Olive ducks in. Got the bucket plus the foul. And Olive will look to tack on another at the free throw line. He puts Orfino up five for the moment. Aiden's free throw off the back rim, no good rebound. Goes out of bounds off of, ooh, off of Orofino. Bransford will bring it up for the Bulldogs. Gets it to Legretta. Legretta working against Cochran. Hands it off to the corner. Contested three off the side rim from Clement. No good. Long rebound. Goes out of bounds on the far side. And it'll be off Grangeville. 2.16 to go in the third quarter. Maniacs 32. Bulldogs 27. Cochran will bring it up. Grangeville still in the zone. Cochran splits two defenders, drives middle, hands it off corner to Schneider. Cochran back open in the corner. Schneider didn't see him. Now to the corner with Cochran. On the wing, Schneider will bring it up top. Crosses back to his left. Now to Hudson on the right wing. Back to Schneider. Schneider, no look past Cochran. Daylight for a three on the way. Nothing but net good. Way too much room for Loudon Cochran as he has his second three ball of the evening. 35-27, eight-point game. Bransford picks up his dribble, dribble handoff to Legretta. Back to Bransford at the volleyball line, defended by Cochran. Still the 2-3 zone for Orfino as Branson takes it to the wing. In the corner, Munch for three. Off the side rim, no good. Long rebound track down by Hudson. Hudson pushing in transition. will slow it up. They don't have numbers. Gets it to Scott Pump. Fake got his man in the air. Pulls up. Baseline jumper off the back rim. And a whistle, a foul call. It's going to be against Legretta. Should be his second, and it is fifth team foul. Scott will take it out near the corner on the baseline. Orfino with a box on the right side. Gets it in corner to Schneider. Schneider, pump fake, drives middle, pulls up, kick out three from Cochran on the way. It is long, hard off the backboard, no good. Legretta pushing it the other way in transition. He'll slow it up, set up the offense, down to a minute to go in the third, high post month. Kick out three on the way from Clement. Off the side rim, no good. Scott with the board for Orfino, down to 45 seconds left. It's a trailing Schneider over to Hudson on the wing. Pass back out top, Clement in the passing lane, steals it away, takes it up at the rim, Schneider a step behind, got it, plus the foul. As he's able to get that transition lane to go, foul goes against Schneider. Clement with five in the quarter, he's got nine total, looking to make it into double figures with this free throw. Drobus checks in, Hannah, or Hudson heads to the bench. Clements free throw on the way, nothing but net good. He's now got 10 of his team's 30, 35, 30, and Drobish called for the travel. Pressure from Branson after the inbound. Coach Barlow not happy. Make some noise for the Maniac people. And the Maniacs letting the Bulldogs hang around. Legretta hits a cutting Branson on the inbound. The pass back out goes out of bounds. It'll be Maniac ball. Just under 30 seconds to go in the third, 35-30. Schneider will run the point. 
Three out, two in for Orfino at the moment. Strobish driving left, dump down inside. The olive is stolen away. Outlet ahead to Clement. Clement ahead to Branson in transition. Reverse lay and doesn't go. Down under 10 seconds in the third. Schneider back the other way. Hands it off. Cochran in the corner. Five seconds. Schneider pull up three. Top of the key. Off the front rim, no good. Goey Co with the board. Pass out. Stolen by Cochran. Desperation heave at the buzzer. Is off the mark at the end of three. It is the Orfeo Maniacs 35, Grangeville Bulldogs 30. We'll take a quick break. Final quarter action after this. It's cold, and when it's really cold, it's hard to stay motivated to exercise. We tend to fall into a snuggle-up mentality, eating more and doing less. Orofino Physical Therapy has a couple of simple tips to help you get back on track. First, set an exercise schedule and stick to it. If you schedule it, you're more likely to stay with it. Next, get a partner, a workout buddy, or someone to share your goals with who can help you stay on track. Get motivated. Stay motivated. Visit Orofino Physical Therapy and Wellness. It's painful when a patrol officer rolls up on a traffic accident that involves a fatality. And what compounds that grief is that sometimes these accidents can be avoided. This is Officer Sarah Walker with the Orfino Police Department reminding you that alcohol remains a major contributor to holiday crashes that injure and kill our family, friends, and neighbors. While we hope you have an amazing holiday season, remember to always choose a designated driver. Please, don't drink and drive. From all of us at OPD, have a Merry Christmas. Maniac Basketball brought to you by the Pizza Factory. Best build, builder, supply, and Kimberling Insurance says we head to the final quarter of play. Maniacs with a five-point lead, 35-30. Grangeville starts with the ball. Legretto, ooh, got away with a little walk there. Gets its top of the key. Now Munt kicks corner. Clement pump fake. Drives. A little leaner from the baseline. Rattles around and drops in good for Clement. Cuts it back to a three-point game. Schneider, top of the key, working against Sickles. Now with Cochran on the right wing. Dribble handoff to Drobish. Now out to the volleyball line. Schneider drives middle, loses the handle. Stolen away, Goikoa gets it across. Mutz now corner with Clements. A cutting Goikoa back out top. Mutz defended by Naranjo over to Legretta. Driving, has it poked away from behind and into the hands of Scott. Outlet to Naranjo, ahead Cochran on the right wing. Cochran attacking, pull up mid-range jumper off the side rim, no good. Rebound, Scott goes down on the ground after it. Schneider comes away with it. And he'll set up the offense back to the 1-3-1 look for the Bulldogs. Cochran on the wing. Naranjo, top of the key. Nice pass across with the look off to Scott, but cannot finish from short. And in transition, Clement on the right side, loses the handle, double dribble, got away with it somehow. Cochran in transition, two on one. He'll take it himself, got it, plus the foul. And one opportunity for Loudon Cochran, who has been fairly quiet in the ball game outside of is two threes. But now he's got eight. As he extends the lead to five, 37-32 pending the free throw. Checking in Ray Holes Jr. Munt will take a breather. Cochran's free throw off the back rim, no good. Drobish able to save it in to Scott to keep it alive. Gets it out, corner three for Drobish. It is long. Rebound tracked down and saved in bounds by Clement, but he stepped on the line. And it'll stay with Orfino. Orfino struggling from the charity stripe tonight as Drobish takes it out on the baseline in the corner to Cochran. Loudon gets it away to Naranjo, high post, jumper on the way from Schneider, and the off-balance look is no good. Goikoa gets it ahead in the corner. Three on the way from Clements, nestles in good as Cody Clement. Cuts it to a two point game, 37-35. That got the Grangeville bench going. Now Schneider, top of the key, out to Drobish. Drobish, defended closely, able to get it to Naranjo. Shovel pass to the middle, Drobish underneath. He will take it up and draw the foul. Drobish to shoot two. 
Orfino has had a tough night from the free throw line to this point. And Drobish's free throw off the back rim, no good. Second free throw on the way off the back iron. That's no good either. Rebound tipped around, and it is Scott. Got it to the free throw line. Jumper on the way from Naranjo, no good. Scuffle for the loose ball. Pass ahead from LaGretta, and in and out of the hands of Branson. He's not happy about that. As he slams his fist into the ball, timeout taken by Orfino as they lead by 237-35. We'll take a quick break. We are back in a minute after this. P1FCU's Ascend Checking is a simple free checking account that gives you the flexibility to earn dividends. Plus, get anytime account access with online and mobile banking, mobile deposit, and no minimum balance requirements. So level up your finances with an Ascend Checking account. Learn more at p1fcu.org slash ascend. P1FCU, your community, your credit union. Insured by NCUA. I like to think of myself as a confident backseat driver. Mom, brakes please. Gotcha. But these days, I'm less confident in the economy. Same here, buddy. Thankfully, Les Wild Tires helps make sure that our safety never takes a backseat, even when we're watching our wallets. Time to turn, Mom. Mm hmm Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab Tires. Doing the right thing since 1952. And welcome back once again. Clearwater Valley Health and Clinics along with Finky Logging and Ford's Creek Pump. All backers of Maniac Basketball on AM 13 KLER Radio, your Central Idaho sports leader. I'd like to welcome our listeners on KLER Orfino as well as our YouTube channel KLER 1300 AM. Orfino up to 37-35, 5.20 to go in the ball game. Cochran drives, kicks, it's tipped, stolen away. Months pass ahead in transition well long over the head of Bransford. And that gives it back to Orfino. Naranjo. Back in the ball game, we'll bring it up. Kicks it corner, Schneider. Naranjo on the wing, driving middle, pass across to Drobish, kick out Naranjo, top of the key. Now to Schneider on the wing, Naranjo, pass inside to Scott, turns, puts it up, gets it off the glass for two, Joel Scott. He's got his first points of the fourth quarter, 39-35. Legretta into the corner, Clement. Inside Munt, back out Clement. Pass out top, goes into the backcourt, and it'll be over and back. 4.36 to go in the ball game. Orfino 39, Grangeville 35. Drobish enters it into Naranjo. Naranjo driving middle, pulls up free throw line, kick out three for Schneider in the corner. It's a little long, skies up. Scott saves it in bounds, but off of Goey Koa. Heady play there for Joel Scott to keep the possession for Orfino. And now Coach Wright will take a full timeout. His team trailing by four, 425 to go. Maniac basketball continues in a minute on KLER. Merry Christmas, everyone. This is Marilyn from Watson's Grocery, Orofino. On behalf of everyone here at the store, we wish you a joyous Yuletide season. Children, it's what the holiday is all about. At Watson's Grocery, Orofino, we hope you share the joy of listening to their Christmas carols, watching them bake Santa cookies, and tearing into the gifts on the morning of the 25th. Watson's Grocery on Michigan Ave hopes you find the wonderment of Christmas this year with family and friends while toasting our blessings and good tidings of joy. Happy holidays to your family from ours. Merry Christmas from Watson's Grocery, Orofino. Whipple's Feet and Country Store strives to provide consistent, superior customer service, and you can always count on us being open. Pet owners, Nutrisystem Dog Food has just arrived, a new product that will keep your dogs healthy and active. Whipple's can also help keep those wild animals fed on the property with straw, deer block, and grass hay. Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and Saturdays, 8 to 4, Whipple's Feet is open and will continue to serve you. Merry Christmas, and we'll see you in 2023. 
And welcome back from the timeout. Les Schwab Tire Center, Orfino Police Department, and Barlow Quality Trust, backers of Maniac Athletics. A close ball game here. Midway through the fourth quarter. 39-35, Orfino hanging on to a four-point advantage. Strobish will take it out underneath for the Maniacs. Has to take it out deep to Naranjo, able to come up with it. Dribble handoff to Cochran, moving left, has the top of the key against the 2-3 zone, picks up his dribble, able to get it away to Schneider. Schneider driving, defender on his hip, trapped on the wing, and pass out, stolen away by Bransford, but then he throws an elbow right in front of the official, and that'll give it right back to Orfino. That foul, the second on Bransford. Eighth team foul. So Orfino in the bonus. Cochran takes the inbound. Gives a little shimmy to Bransford. Picks it up. Middle stolen away by Clement to head to Bransford. Running the floor. Finger roll in is good. And Bransford cuts it to a two-point game. 39-37. Cochran back the other way. Pull up jumper from the free throw line. And he answers trying to make up for that turnover. Puts it back to a four-point game, 41-37. And LaGretta gets it to Bransford. Has it on the wing, picks up his dribble. Munt in the corner, give and go off the hands of Bransford. Schneider in transition, attacking all the way to the rim. Lefty laying, no good. Clement with the board, pushing it back the other way. Goey Koa going into Joel Scott. Scott very clearly set his feet and takes the charge. He was very careful about that one. Second charge taken by Joel Scott. That's the second foul against Goey Koa. Ninth team foul. Orfino one away from the double bonus. Joel Scott. At the free throw line, back out Schneider, open for three, it's on the way, it is off the backboard, no good. Bransford with the board. He picks up his dribble at the volleyball line, high post to Munt, turn, kicks, corner, Clement, contested three. It is off the back room, no good, long rebound track, tip to Bransford, inside some Munt, and a timeout taken by Coach Wright. His team trailing by four, 41-37, 2.46 to go. Maniac basketball continues in 30 seconds on KLER Orfino. It's painful when a patrol officer rolls up on a traffic accident that involves a fatality. And what compounds that grief is that sometimes these accidents can be avoided. This is Officer Sarah Walker with the Orfino Police Department reminding you that alcohol remains a major contributor to holiday crashes that injure and kill our family, friends, and neighbors. While we hope you have an amazing holiday season, remember to always choose a designated driver. Please, don't drink and drive. From all of us at OPD, have a Merry Christmas. All December long, you'll save on that just right gift when you visit your best built builder supply in Orfino. Hi, this is Ian Steinrich with great news of the perfect gift for that special someone in your home. The Gerber Kettlebell 2.5 inch folding knife is low priced at $33.99. Lighten up any situation with the Nebo Popway rubberized plastic LED lantern. Half price this month at $21.99. From all our staff at Best Built Builders, to you and your family, happy holidays. Back once again, it is inbounded to Bransford. Bransford pass over the top. Munt comes down with it, tight roping the baseline, but he stepped out. Orfino gets it back, up four with 2.40 to go. Another ball game going down to the wire for Orfino. Unblemished to this point. Cochran, crossed half, gets it out to Drobish. And looking like they're trying to take some time off the clock. I don't know about that. Got to keep your pedal to the metal. Got to play to win, not to lose. Or not to uh, play to win, not to not lose. As Naranjo has its top right. Drobish up top. Lofts it up for Schneider on the wing. Now to Scott who steps out inside Naranjo. One dribble takes it up middle of the key. It's short. And Goey Koa with the board gets the outlet to Bransford. 2.05 to go. Munts in the corner. Clements got to keep a hand in his face. Driving baseline. Kicks out top, Bransford, extra pass in the corner. Goey Koa, daylight for three off the front rim. Legretta with the board, 
And it is tied up as he went to take it up. Jump ball, arrow is the way of the Maniacs. And Orfino looking a little tentative. Like I said, you gotta keep the pedal to the metal. Cochran driving middle, elevates, tried to dump it, and it's stolen away. Bransford across half, Goikoa on the wing. Drives, kicks, Clements able to get a three away, nestles in good, and Clement cuts it to a one-point ball game. Third three of the game, 41-40. Now across half, it is Schneider, and Coach Barlow will take a timeout with a minute 19 to go, his team up one. It is a 30-second timeout. We're back in 30 after this. The recently held Orofino Flower Open House was a huge success. Kathy and the girls wish to thank everyone who came by to look at our Boho Ho Christmas display. Come by and look at the many beautiful Christmas wreaths, fresh and artificial. Brightly colored centerpieces perfect for your Christmas table and wall hangings that will spruce up any home or office. Candy bouquets for gift giving. And don't forget Orofino Flower delivers. Thank you and Merry Christmas all from Orofino Flower. And we're back once again, minute 19 to go. Another nail biter here at Orfino High School. Maniacs lead by one, 41 to 40. Bulldogs, Cody Clements hit a three to cut it to one. Naranjo will take the inbound. He's got it the volleyball line, top of the key over Drobish, swings it to Schneider. Schneider gets it to Drobish. Looks like they're gonna make Grangeville come out and defense able to get it to Scott. Scott at the free throw line. Now to the corner with Schneider. Schneider brings it out to the wing. Naranjo, Schneider on the wing. Gets it to Schneider, stolen away. It's Clements with a step in transition. Takes it to the bucket, he is fouled. And Clement with a chance to tie or take the lead. Here as he'll be shooting two. Already with the three ball that cut it to a one point game. Big free throws here for Cody Clement. Fouls on Trobish. And his first free throw is off the front iron and no good. Big breath from Clement as they'll look to tie it up here. 48.2 seconds. Second free throw, nothing but that good. It's all knotted up at 41. Easton Schneider will bring it up. Got it across half, defended by Bransford. Still the zone from Grangeville. Gets it away to Drobish, down to 35. Cochran comes and gets it. Looks like they might hold for the last shot. Naranjo on the wing, and ooh, he got away with the travel there. Timeout taken. 27.4 seconds left to 41 all. We'll send it away for 30 seconds. We're back after this. Merry Christmas, everyone. This is Marilyn from Watson's Grocery Orofino. On behalf of everyone here at the store, we wish you a joyous Yuletide season. Children, it's what the holiday is all about. At Watson's Grocery Orofino, we hope you share the joy of listening to their Christmas carols, watching them bake Santa cookies, and tearing into the gifts on the morning of the 25th. Watson's Grocery on Michigan Ave hopes you find the wonderment of Christmas this year with family and friends while toasting our blessings and good tidings of joy. Happy holidays to your family from ours. Merry Christmas from Watson's Grocery Orofino. And welcome back once again. This broadcast of Orfino Maniac Basketball brought to you in part by Les Schwab Tire Center, Orfino Police Department, and Barlow Quality Trust. Another game that is an absolute nail biter here at Orfino High School as we get ready to head into Christmas break. Both teams looking to end on a high note before their break. It is 41 all, 27.4 seconds left. Maniacs with the ball. We'll see if Coach Barlow wants to hold for the last shot of the ball game. Uh, Drobish will get it in, now to Schneider. On the floor with him is Cochran, Naranjo, Drobish, and Scott. Gets it away to Naranjo, pass to the corners, tipped and stolen. Munt now with it, 15 seconds left. 
Gets it over Legretta, wide open for three. On the way, off the front rim, no good. Long rebound, a race for it. It's tipped into the backcourt, sliding with it is Grange, is Legretta. That is a huge travel. And Rocky Barlow knows it. Somehow they give a timeout to Grangeville. He slid a good 10 feet. And they gave him a timeout. Wow. At, uh, wow. Uh, it's timeout taken, 41 all. Let's send it away for 30 seconds. We're back after this. P1FCU's Ascend Checking is a simple free checking account that gives you the flexibility to earn dividends. Plus, get anytime account access with online and mobile banking, mobile deposit, and no minimum balance requirements. So level up your finances with an Ascend checking account. Learn more at p1fcu.org slash ascend. P1FCU, your community, your credit union. Insured by NCUA. And welcome back once again. It was a full timeout, but I didn't want you to have any chances at missing any of the final ticks in this one as this one going all the way down to the wire. And it is Grangeville ball following that uh, chase down in the backcourt. Let's get low, Unfortunately, a travel call was missed as Legretta jumped on it, slid about 10, 15 feet. 4.7 seconds left, full court to go. Munt takes the inbound. He's got it at midcourt, skips it across. It's tipped out of bounds on the far side as I believe Schneider got a hand on it. 0.9 seconds left. It'll be Grangeville ball in front of their bench. Legretta will take it out. Gonna have to be a catch and shoot in the corner. Goey Koa heaves it up. It is long. We're headed to overtime here for Morfino High School. Knotted up at 41 all. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with the overtime period after this. Today you have numerous options when selecting your IRA and deciding which account is right for you is one of the most important decisions you will make for your financial future. Hi, this is Terry Bowling with Camus Financial Services. Give me a call to find out which IRA fits your financial needs or to update your current IRA saving strategy. You can reach me, Terry Bowling, at 476-7100 or stop by my office at 230 Johnson Avenue in Orfino to set up a free, no obligation appointment today. Security is offered through LPL Financial Member. FINRA SIPC. Hi, this is Terry Bowling with Camus Financial Services. I am available to help you select the right investment options when you are faced with early retirement, changing or losing a job, or any other lifestyle changes that warrant a review of your financial plan. You can reach me, Terry Bowling, at 476-7100 or stop by my office at 230 Johnson Avenue or Fino to set up a free, no obligation appointment today. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA SIPC. Welcome back once again. We're headed to overtime here at Orfino High School. It is the Orfino Maniacs 41, the Grangeville Bulldogs 41. Toss four minutes up on the clock. Doesn't get much better than this. Another game going all the way down to the wire for the Orfino Maniacs. Unbeaten so far. As the tip is up and it goes out of bounds as it was Joel Scott and Munt jumping once again. It's out of bounds off of but Greensville Orfino will have the first possession of the overtime period. Loudon Cochran takes the inbound. 2-3 zone for Greensville. Dribble handoff. Naranjo moving right. Snubbled another handoff to Drobish. Picks it up top of the key. Naranjo driving middle. Was looking to kick. Lost the handle. Munt comes away with it. And he'll get it to Branson. Branson over to Munts, wide open for three. Pulls the trigger, rattles off no good. Sky enough for the board is Clement. He's fouled on the follow. And Cody Clement with some big buckets in the fourth quarter. The last four points to tie it up. And he's got an opportunity to give Grangeville the lead. First free throw off the mark, no good. Orfino Physical Therapy, Empire Lumber Company, and Renata's Cakery, our Maniac backers on AM 13 KLER Radio. Another shot at it for Clement. At 
one short as well. Rebound tipped around into the hands of Cochran. He'll bring it up to the left side. He'll slow it up to set things up. They're trying to top, trap out of the top of that 2-3 zone. Dribble handoff to Schneider. Schneider driving and is fouled as he had it at the block. And Maniacs in the bonus. It'll be two free throws here for Easton Schneider. Tenth team foul against the Bulldogs. That is the third on Gilly Koa. Schneider's first free throw off the back rim. No good. It's been tough going from the charity stripe for the Maniacs tonight. Schneider will have another crack at putting Orfino in the lead. It's on the way. Long once again, Aiden Olive in the ball game. Couldn't come up with the board. Goey Koa gets the outlet to Clement. Clement on the right wing. It's a trailing Munt diving to the buckets and cannot finish. Take, took some contact from Aiden Olive. Drobish back the other way. On the wing at the volleyball line with Cochran. Still the 2-3 zone, Clement and Branson. Out top, Schneider on the wing, driving. Outside the block, pulls up. He's trapped, got to get it away. Got it to Drobish. Drobish on the wing, defended closely by Branson. Picks up his dribble out deep. Now to Cochran. At the volleyball line, defended closely by Branson. And a pro hop. Nice little jumper there from about eight feet for Loudon Cochran to give Orofino the two-point lead back the other way. Branson pulls up top of the key. Pump fake got his man in the air, and Schneider comes down on him. Foul called. But it should be on the ground as he never actually shot the ball. Forty-three, forty-one. Orfino hanging on to a two-point lead. Legretta with the top of the key. Now Branson at the volleyball line, defended out deep by Schneider. Dribble handoff to Goey Koa, continues driving middle, kicks corner, daylight for three. Branson lives short, and tracking down the long board is Clement, stripped from behind, but a foul call. And that's gonna be a one and one for Cody Clement. for two from the charity stripe in the overtime period. That's the fourth foul on Drobish. Front end of the one and one off the back rim, no good, but Legretta with the board. Bounce pass across to Munt who can't finish from short. And Drobish with the board. He'll bring it up for Orfino. Orfino up by two. Drobish at the volleyball line, gonna make Grange will extend their defense and they'll come out and foul. Interesting move with a minute and 49 seconds left. Definitely not at the point where you have to foul, just down two. You could have tried to force a turnover, which they've had some success with as the first free throw is off the back iron for Orfino as the free throw struggles continue. Second free throw, nothing but net good as Strobish gives Orfino a three-point lead, 44-41. Minute 45 to go in the corner, Goicoa. Pass out top with Branson. Gets it over volleyball line to Clement, back to Branson. Branson picks up his dribble. Now Goicoa, short corner to Muntz, gives it across, Clement open for three. Off the side rim, no good. And there's a foul called on the rebound. It's gonna go against Grangeville. We're headed back the other way for free throws. Minute 21 to go in the overtime period. Maniacs 44, Bulldogs 41. And it'll be Easton Schneider. Shooting two. And Schneider's first free throw is no good. Orfino Physical Therapy, Empire Lumber Company, and Renata's Cakery are Maniac backers on AM 1300 KLER Radio. 
Schneider second, free throw, rattles in and out, no good. Rebound tipped around, long board is collected by Orfino. Drobish able to come up with it. Gets it to Scott. Now Drobish at the volleyball line, driving middle, nearly has it stolen, he does. And it is Billy Koa that tips it to the corner with Branson after losing it. Branson turns, drives baseline, floater is good. For Bransford. Cuts it to a one-point game, 44-43. And Cochran has it in the corner. Coach Barlow will take a timeout. Full timeout, 46.3 seconds left. 44-43 is team on top. Maniac basketball continues in a minute on KLER Orfino. Remember those days when you used to tromp around in the woods searching for the perfect Christmas tree? All the kids in tow saying, no bigger, bigger. Well, at McLaughlin Logging, we know those times ever so well. Every day, our hardworking guys are in the woods making a living, providing valuable resources to our economy through timber products and a living for families everywhere. So the next time you're in the woods and you see our tracks, remember, we're all about Christmas. Merry Christmas, friends, from McLaughlin Logging. Make this a real bang-bang Christmas with new firearms and ammo from your gun dealer in Orfino, Olive's Auto Parts. Come in today and see the largest selection of hunting rifles, automatic rifles, pistols, and handguns. Just about every imaginable ammo for all your firearms is also on the shelves when you shop today. Weekly gun specials, perfect for the beginning or advanced shooter when you visit Dwayne and all the staff at Olive's Auto Parts or Fino. Happy Holidays! Fair Water Valley Health and Clinics along with Thinky Logging and Forts Creek Pump, all backers of Maniac Basketball on AM13 KLER Radio, your Central Idaho sports leader. 44-43, Maniacs on top, 46.3 seconds left in overtime. On the floor for Fino, Cochran, Schneider, Olive, Scott, and Drobish. Drobish will take it out. He has it on the sideline. Looking for somewhere to go. Gets it into Scott near midcourt. Scott picks up his dribble, nearly has it stripped, and a foul is called near midcourt. Scott heading to the free throw line, shooting two. More big free throws. As that is the fifth foul on Cody Clement, and that'll do it for him. That's a huge loss for the Bulldogs. Clement, a big reason why Grangeville able to fight their way back in. It's Scott, first free throw, nothing but net. Good, that is a big one there from Joel Scott. Nothing but net. 45-43. Looking to make it a three-point game here, and he calmly does. He struggled from the free throw line rest of the game, but makes it there. 46-43. Bransford. With it at the volleyball line, pass to Munt, top of the key, and a foul at the top of the key is going to mean free throws for Carter Munt with 31 seconds, 30.8 seconds left. That is the eighth team foul, first on Aiden Olive. Front end of the one and one, off the side iron, no good, but Lagretta with the rebound, toilet bowls on the follow and drops in good, one point ball game. And a timeout taken, full timeout, 46-45, 26 seconds left, we'll send it away for 30. We're back after this. The forensic analyst searched for clues to what could have caused the house fire. Could that be? Traces of starch. Suddenly the pieces came together. The fire was started by an over microwaved potato. And we covered it. Talk to farmers. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. At 622 Brighton Avenue in Lewiston, see me, Greg Kimberling, your local farmers insurance agent. Welcome back once again. Overtime period. 46-45, Maniacs in the lead. I believe it was 26 seconds left. Of course, they don't have that on the board as they uh, count down the timeout uh, here during the break on the board. But a huge foul out, Cody Clement. Now 
relegated to the bench after picking up his fifth foul for the Grangeville Bulldogs. And he has been the leading scorer all night long for Grangeville. Full length of the court to go, 26.1 seconds left. Full court press from Grangeville. Drobish to take it out. Able to get it in to Scott, and he is fouled hard from behind. Joel Scott now going to head to the free throw line, shooting two. And another Bulldog has fouled out. That is Carter Munt. That is his fifth. And Ray Holes Jr. will check in for him. More big free throws here for Joel Scott. First one is too long off the back iron, no good. Scott will try to make it a two point ball game here. Free throw on the way, he knocks it down. He's three for four from the charity stripe here in the overtime period, 47-45. Legretta skips it, corner, three on the way. Sickles no good. Goey Cole with the board, keeps it alive. Steps back to the corner. Legretta now from the wing. Up top, Bransford. Bransford will set up the offense, down under 10. Now to seven seconds left. Ray Holes Jr. give and go. Bransford too hard off the backboard, no good. Joel Scott with the rebound, and it's stolen away behind the back. Ray Holes can't finish, and that is the buzzer. Maniacs win it. Another thriller here from Orfino High School, and again, Orfino is able to squeak it out by a two-point margin, 47 to 45 over their arch rivals, the Grangeville Bulldogs. That uh, definitely closer than uh, Coach Barlow would have liked, but a win is a win, and it took them 36 minutes of a regulation as uh, they went to overtime here from Orfino High School, but the Orfino Maniacs emerge victorious 47 to 45 over the Greenfield Bulldogs. We'll take a quick break. We are back with the postgame show after this. The recently held Orofino Flower Open House was a huge success. Kathy and the girls wish to thank everyone who came by to look at our Bo Ho Ho Christmas display. Come by and look at the many beautiful Christmas wreaths, fresh and artificial. Brightly colored centerpieces perfect for your Christmas table and wall hangings that will spruce up any home or office. Candy bouquets for gift giving. And don't forget Orofino Flower delivers. Thank you and Merry Christmas all from Orofino Flower. I like to think of myself as a confident backseat driver. Mom, brakes please. Gotcha. But these days, I'm less confident in the economy. Same here, buddy. Thankfully, Les Wild Tires helps make sure that our safety never takes a backseat, even when we're watching our wallets. Time to turn, Mom. Mm-hmm. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. Today, our dollar needs to stretch a little further than previous. That's why at Watson's Grocery Orofino, we invite our senior citizens to shop Thursdays. Every Thursday, receive a 10% discount on all your shopping. Senior Discount Day is Watson's Grocery Orofino's way of helping our communities in times of flush or thin. Thank you for choosing Watson's Grocery Orofino for all your shopping needs. Open seven days a week and a 10% discount on Thursdays for seniors on Michigan Avenue, Watson's Grocery Orofino. Santa's laugh so jolly and the green sprigs of holly. These are the symbols of a Christmas time filled with happiness and joy. The staff of the Ponderosa Restaurant wish you a most happy time during this Yuletide season. For any of your holiday gatherings, be it with friends, family, or co-workers, call the Ponderosa Restaurant. From simple foods to prime rib, ordering off the menu, or just a drink to toast in the new year. Merry Christmas and happy 2023 from the Ponderosa Restaurant. And welcome back once again. It is the post-game show following uh, tonight's contest between the Orfino Maniacs and the Grangeville Bulldogs here from Orfino High School. Orfino able to squeak out a two-point victory. 47 to 45 over their Central Idaho League arrival, Grangeville Bulldogs. 
And it is time for some individual statistics. We'll take a look first at the Orfino Maniacs with uh, 47 total points, 12 from Easton Schneider, Nick Drobish chipping in at six. And I believe I might have counted Joel Scott's wrong. I apologized. He ended up with 15 on the evening. I was wondering why things weren't adding up correctly. And then Loudon Cochran with 12. Aiden Olive chipping in the final two. So three Maniacs in double figures. Easton Schneider, Joel Scott, and Loudon Cochran. On the other side, Jaden Legretta with 12. Jack Bransford had one bucket in each quarter, including, or in each period, including the overtime period, as he ends up with 10 points uh, for, for Carter Bunce, and then Cody Clements led the way with 19. Just four scores tonight for the Grangeville Bulldogs. Uh, 45 total points, 47 to 45 is our final score here from Orfino High School. Time to take another quick break, but keep it right here. Pizza Factory, a player of the game, will be announced uh, after this. It's painful when a patrol officer rolls up on a traffic accident that involves a fatality. And what compounds that grief is that sometimes these accidents can be avoided. This is Officer Sarah Walker with the Orfino Police Department reminding you that alcohol remains a major contributor to holiday crashes that injure and kill our family, friends, and neighbors. While we hope you have an amazing holiday season, remember to always choose a designated driver. Please, don't drink and drive. From all of us at OPD, have a Merry Christmas. P1FCU's Ascend Checking is a simple free checking account that gives you the flexibility to earn dividends. Plus, get anytime account access with online and mobile banking, mobile deposit, and no minimum balance requirements. So level up your finances with an Ascend checking account. Learn more at p1fcu.org slash ascend. P1FCU, your community, your credit union. Insured by NCUA. Santa's laugh so jolly and the green sprigs of holly. These are symbols of a Christmas time filled with happiness, laughter, and gifts. Riverside Physical Therapy on Highway 12 Orofino wishes you and yours the most happy time at Christmas. It's during this time of year that Allison and her staff send glad tidings of joy. We also hope you'll stop by and drop off a canned good for our local food banks. The holidays are made better for everyone with a warm meal on the table. From Riverside Physical Therapy, Merry Christmas. While we may choose to dine in a little more than in the past, it's nice to know when you just gotta have pizza, it's available from Orofino's Pizza Factory. Delicious pizza, baked spaghetti, and the best breadsticks. Order contact-free and we'll deliver to your door. Or when you drive up to ours, 307 Michigan Avenue in Orofino, it's the Pizza Factory. We toss them. There are some Pizza Factory. Welcome back once again to the Orfino Maniac post game show. I'm CJ Thompson here on KLER Orfino, your Central Idaho sports leader. I also like to welcome uh, or thank our listeners uh, on our YouTube channel, KLER 1300 AM, for uh, tuning in here tonight. Uh, the Orfino Maniacs and the Grangeville Bulldogs going to overtime, but the Maniacs able to edge out the Bulldogs 47 45 to stay unbeaten at 5 and 0, oh, and the Grangeville Bulldogs. Fall 2-0 oh, and 6. One thing left to cover, and that is the Pizza Factory player of the game. As I said, three and double figures. Easton Schneider, Joel Scott, and Loudon Cochran. Uh, and I think that uh, we got to go with uh, the man who hits the big free throws in the overtime period despite struggling from the charity stripe uh, the rest of the ball game. Joel Scott's the leading scorer with 15 points. Congratulations, Joel. For your efforts, you'll receive a certificate good for a personal pizza and a medium soft drink of your choice from our good friends at the Orfino Pizza Factory. And now it is on to Christmas break, pretty much. Uh, Orfino does have a one day of school left before heading to the Christmas weekend and the Christmas break. But uh, the Maniacs uh, ending things uh, game-wise on a high note. 
as they stay undefeated at 5-0. and oh. And it'll be all celebration here. It's all celebration and holiday cheer coming up this weekend and next week. So I wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and all of the Orfino players a fun Christmas break. Just everyone make sure you stay out of trouble and be safe out on those roads. A big thank you to uh, Brian Lee, Kathleen Tetweiler, the athletic director here at Orofino, along with my in-studio engineer, Philip Lamoth. Great job getting us in and out of the breaks, as always. Uh, that will do it tonight. Be sure to listen in to KLER and uh, monitor our Facebook page for our broadcast schedule as we will be posting what is coming up next uh, for Orofino Maniac Basketball. Once again, I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in here tonight as the Maniacs take a 47-45 in overtime. That wraps things up. I'm C.J. Thompson. Wish you all a very pleasant good evening. Thank you for listening in today to another Orofino High School Athletics presentation of Maniacs Basketball. Our game has been brought to you by many fine community backers, and they thank you for listening in and supporting our local kids. We hope you'll continue to listen in for more from the hard courts throughout the season. Or if you know high school basketball, a Central Idaho Broadcasting Sports presentation on KLER.